G'day guys, welcome back. It's blue day today. I'm going to do a blue pour, a blue bloom. I have got my dark blue, phthalo blue, and I've got ultramarine deep. That's a lovely bright blue. This one is ultramarine blue. It's a little bit lighter. And then I've added some white to it. Now I've added mixing white, which is the zinc white. It's a transparent color instead of using the opaque color. So when I want to make things lighter, I use zinc white. And then I have got, oh, this one, this one's aqua with some blue, well, mainly blue actually. Um, they know blue with a bit of aqua. And I've got my black. I need to wash my bottles, don't I? And then I've got... Um, I'm just trying to find my bottle. Oh, there it is. I know all of my others have been gold, but I'm going to go silver. I've done six golds already. This is number seven. So I'll do silver. I may do the other six with silver in them. So I have six gold and six silver. We shall see what happens. But um, not all colours work with with silver. But we'll see. Um, and then oh, I've got my cell activator, which I've still got from my last one when I did my green pour. You can see all my green here. So I'm going to use that. And, um, yeah, let's get going. Get my gloves on. <clears throat> This is a 40 centimetre timber round, uh, 16 inch, and I've got the matching little coaster. Where are you, little coaster? Here. Just got some frog tape on the back to protect it. And, oh, I've got enough pillow paint in here. My tin's nearly empty. Just using the British Paints wall low sheen paint. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I've got enough in here. Let's see. Feels pretty empty. Oh no, it seems to be all right. Let's give that a bit of a a spin just to move it around just a touch. I've only had one of these with a slight crack in it. And I think that's because I left too much um, pillow paint on the surface. I didn't spin it out enough. Still looks good though, like I'm not redoing it. Uh, once I've resined it, it'll be fine. But yeah, I thought, oh, it's never happened to me before. But it is, it is heavier than the others. And I can see that there's a lot of pillow paint still in the bottom there, in the middle. Okay, let's start with the phthalo blue. I'll go... Dark, light, dark, light. You don't want to put two dark colours on each other. Obviously, I wouldn't put black on top of that because you wouldn't even see it, would you? And then we'll go with this oceany blue colour. And then the black. I'm really loving the black in all of these. And then the blue. I've just made this up. It's really frothy. Whoops. I thought I'd give it a tap on the bench to um, get the bubbles out and it just erupted. Okay, a little bit of the blue. Oh, that feels quite thin. Because I added white, which was really thick, um, I had to add some more polycrylic to it. But it's, I think I've gone the opposite way and made it a bit thin now. And then the ultramarine blue. I don't have much of this. I didn't actually make any more of it up. I need to keep just a little bit. I'll turn that bottle upside down. Hopefully it's enough for my coaster. I should have probably made some more, but I'm out of pouring medium. I didn't want to make a new batch of pouring medium just for 50 mils of paint. I splashed on my coaster. I just had to clean that up. Um, and then my silver. I want that to be a little bit kind of random like that. Okay, and I've got my little blower. 
told you about my blower a few times now. Oops, why am I picking up the wrong one? Now I need my white. Mm, I think I need just a little bit more of this navy. Just a tad. Okay, here we go with the white. And I'll go around twice. One, two. Hopefully that's enough. And very carefully, again, don't overblow. As soon as you see that happening, move on to another section. Oh, I've got a lot of wipes for some reason. Didn't think I'd put that much on, but I must have. Just trying to blow the white over the surface. I'm too far there. Nice and gently. in the middle of that one. I didn't think I put so much white on. Okay, that's looking really pretty. Getting some cells up in the center there. That's quite thick white in the middle there. I really didn't think I put so much on. Right, we'll just give that a minute. Oh, look at the black there with the silver. Oh, wow. Bit of a butterfly wing there. See how my lacing stretched out? I don't generally like that for this up here, but I may be able to just fling that off. So the paint's going back into the middle. The white is reducing. Um, if you've been following my little series here of 12 placemats and 12 coasters, you'll, you'll have noticed that I have been trying to get a little bit more white in there. I just think it looks really pretty against all those dark colours because I've got the white between that petal, between that petal, through there, through here. I'm really liking that white. It just, it makes it really quite distinct makes the lacing stand out and I find I get a better result from making my cell activator a little bit thicker because the white tends to stay thicker as a lacing. I'm just trying to move this down here a little bit but I don't want it to get too bunchy. No, I'll just spin it gently for the first one. And just, ooh, wows, oh, look at those colours. And I'll say it to all of them, don't I? <laughs> well, not all of them, but most of them. Okay, so that was just a little spin, just to get things to the sides. Love that. Oh, my gosh. Now I'm going to move everything down. It's had a chance to open up a little bit. It's just easier to move it when it's opened up a little bit than when it's all kind of squished in the middle. Now I want that butterfly wing to go so I'm just moving the weight of the paint down that way just a tad just a tad all right let's go back the other way just a little spin again I don't want it to do too much I don't want to lose too much paint wow I'm really loving the black against the colors too the black and the white it's not a black cell activator, it's just a black. Um, now I've got a problem where I've got that there and I've got that there. So um, the butterfly wing's going. Oh, I just love that so much, those colours there. There's really not a lot of paint left on here. But I am going to have to spin it again because I need that gone, that gone, and a little bit more off. See that, that blob just there? 
and that there. So I'm gonna have to go again and hold underneath here. The, there's a little rim under there for the, the cake stand. I can just hang on to that. There we go, a little bit more paint flying off. And I'll just catch underneath. Okay, almost there, almost there. Just that little bit there. What do you think, you guys? Is this a good blue one? And of course, the more I spin, the more my lacing's opening up. It, it gets bigger. So if you don't want very big lacing, uh, you know, don't spin so much. <laughs> but uh, if you don't spin so much, you lose, you leave too much paint on the surface, and then you know it might crack. So how many was that? Was that three? I should count my spins. Um, now which way will I go? Lacing's kind of bending that way, so I think I need to go that way, don't I? Just straighten it up again. And we'll catch that. I don't want it to spin too much. Voila! I did it, I did it, I did it. I got those end bits off. Wowzers! Oh, I love that one. Some I love more than others. This one I really, really love. Let's just run a finger under there. Catch that. I'm going to go slowly because I don't want the paint coming back up and getting onto the, the sides, you know. So you just got to be careful because it makes like a puddle on your finger and you don't want to push that puddle back up onto the, the side. Because I haven't taped my sides. You'll be able to see the sides once I take the tape off the bottom. Wow, love that. Um, where's the silver? Okay, there's a little bit of silver in there. Once it dries, you know, it'll get that, that sort of shimmer to it. But same with, with the gold. Most of them don't have a lot of silver or gold in them. Don't know what's going on there. There must be a little something in there. I'm not going to worry about it now, but see how the, the lacing's kind of gone on a bit of a bender there? Must have got stuck on something, maybe. Who knows? Oh, love that. Do you like that little bit of a, a turquoise in the blue? Can't really see my light blue a lot, can you? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to take it down for a close-up, and then, as usual, move it and get my coaster down. So that uh, ultramarine blue is what I wanted under the white, just to get that really electric look. Oh, my stairs are a bit squeaky, aren't they? Okay, here we go. Let me get it to be the right colour. It's quite, quite dark. No, it's not that light, that's for sure. Here we go. Really enjoying doing these. I think that's focused. Okay, I'm just going to have to go with the, the brighter. I'll turn my lights off. Okay, here we go. Still showing a little bit more turquoise than blue. It's really quite blue. Having a bit of trouble focusing. <laughs> Okay, that's it. And where's the middle? Let's go to the middle. There's the middle. Considering I had those two big blocks of white in the middle, it's turned out okay, hasn't it? There's a little bit of white still in the center there, but really quite pretty. Um, 
got a green one under there just curing it's dry but it's, it's curing uh, the others are just still sitting under my net turquoise aqua and brown and then that light green so they're just sitting under the net there um, actually I'll come around here and I'll show you these two because these two are dry I don't know if I'll get you very good photos of them but that's the the red and gold the very first one I did and then that's the red and pinky ones yeah so there we go all right um, I'll go and change over and get ready for the coaster spinner on and then I've got my little coaster just use some double-sided tape stick him down put my gloves on hopefully I've got enough paint to go again hope so um okay right now as usually these little ones are quite tricky because you don't need very much paint at all. Little bob. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to put a puddle down. There should be enough there. Hopefully. I'll just put my nozzles back on so that I can do a little puddle. And then make sure that you wipe the top of the nozzle so you don't get a, a dry, crusty bit. Did you guys like the turquoisey blue in it? I mean, it's still blue. You can't have just the, all the same colours, can you? Exactly the same shades. You do have to have some kind of variation to have a pretty painting. Now I added an extra blob of paint to this one. I just thought it was a little bit on the thin side. So I did add a little blob. Because you couldn't really see it in the last painting. It might be because it was too thin. Okay, and I've had this one turned upside down. <laughs> Trying to get as much out as I can and maybe just a little blob of the navy on top and our silver just do a squiggle like that to hopefully get it to spread and I'm going to use my barbecue blower because obviously I can't use my big guy, even though he's not that big, he would still blow that paint everywhere. So if you don't have one of these, you can use your mouth, you can use a straw. It seems like a lot of silver, doesn't it? But I think it will kind of blend with the white and hopefully I'll get the colors coming up from underneath because I blow directly down and then I kind of go to the side to spread it. to get into that last little petal it's tricky because if I got too close to that I would disrupt it but I needed to get some there so it's always a bit tricky doing that last little area okay that's looking really pretty I don't want to wait too long because I don't want the middle to get too big Okay, that little strip there is going to have to go, isn't it? That little strip of silver. The 
Let's take the weight down there a little bit and then maybe I can fling that silver off. Mm, it's still there. Don't know that there's anything I can do about it. Nope. Um, what to do, what to do. I either leave it there or I try and fling it off. Just put my nozzle in it. All right, let's give it another spin, see if I can get a little bit more of it off. Otherwise, I might have to do another one. I don't mind a little bit of white in it, in the middle, but I don't like how it goes out like that. It looks like an inlet into the ocean. I'll go one more spin. I wonder if I can tip that last little bit off. It's not really moving, is it? Go, go, go. Just give it a minute, see if I can get it to go down a little bit more. That white is making its way down now. Definitely nearly got my finger in it. <laughs> Spinner's moving. Um, okay, no. I don't like how it's gone all loopy now. Oh, I tell you, I, have, I struggle with these little guys. You'd think a small one would be easy, but I don't think so. I'm going to put a little blob of paint there just to see if it'll help stick that down. paint back in my pocket upside down that last one um the ultramarine blue i've hardly got any left of it at all i think i do kind of go over, do my coasters twice don't i i think i do the coasters more redo them than i do the the big ones Actually, no, I don't need any more. I don't need any more than that. All right, let's start again. A little bit of navy, phthalo blue. A little bit of the bluey turquoise. A little bit of black. light blue I have to get this one out of my pocket I've been keeping it upside down in my pocket to try and get the last little bit out hopefully there's just enough I'm going to keep it upside down just in case I need to redo this I'll keep it in my pocket upside down a little bit of silver and our three to one cell activator. <clears throat> Did I tell you I have my cell activator three to one with the little coasters and then two to one with the bigger ones? Because <clears throat> this guy's not very strong, so he needs to have a thinner mix to blow. I think I told you in a previous video, maybe not today. Okay, that's looking good. Still got a little bit of a, a white stream. But that's where I always have trouble. As I said in the previous one, you know, I, I need to get that white through there and I don't want to disrupt the, the lacing. Okay, that's looking really pretty. My 
might just wait a little bit longer for the white to recede a little bit then I hopefully I won't have a big stripe of, of white or silver like I had last time and that white in the center should fill in as well once it starts spinning and my big one's got white through the center so I don't mind if this one has the white through the center as well yes 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 that is so pretty wow um i can get a little bit off just there that little bit there go the opposite way be careful not to get my finger through it imagine if my finger was slipped and went right through the middle yes that's it tiny tiny little bit there but i think that's really pretty oh my gosh <gasps> glad i did that one again look at that bit of white in the center that little flash i really like that uh, is it just me <laughs> or is it um or do you guys like that little bit of white in the middle because there's white going through it obviously and that just ties it into the middle gives the eye that focal point in the center there because it's white. Oh, this is so pretty. Wow. Let me just wedge it off the masking tape. I'll just touch the side. Um, what can I put back there? I'll just touch that side there. It's tricky because you, if you pick up some paint um, from down there, it always kind of puts white on it but you can always just if you do touch the side just get your little bottle and just put another little blob of paint on the side you know in a corresponding color whatever's next to it it's better than having white there oh so pretty as far as coasters go this has got to be my favorite all right i'm gonna go and put it down there um, and then I'll come back and get you, okay? Just wait there. <laughs> Don't go anywhere, will you? Oh. All right. Take my gloves off. Actually, I won't bother. I'll just chuck them in there. I need to get rid of all that pebble pad anyway. I'm so happy with these two. I think I have a favourite and then I do another one and I go, oh no, but you're my new favourite. <laughs> look how it turned out. All right, you've seen the big one, so let's go and have a look at the coaster. Look how he turned out. Look at the edges. Got lacing right to the edges. Really, really pretty. So that's the three to one cell activator on that one because it's a little guy. And then the bigger guy, well, he's got the two to one because I don't want the lacing to overstretch. Um, and having the slightly thicker cell activator helps my lacing to um, not overstretch and kind of go wobbly as it does sometimes. It'll go a bit wobbly when you're, when you're tilting or spinning. So there you go. Look at them shine. I will put some kind of coating on them. I don't know yet. I've never resined before. I might have to send them all to Karen over in Virginia. Is that where you are, Karen, in Virginia? <laughs> Get it a resin more for me and then send them back. I will have to have a go though, won't I? I will. All right. Thanks so much for watching again. And um, I'll see you real soon for the next one. All right. Bye for now.